Hello everyone, I'm Shi Tong Fu. I'm very glad to uh, give a talk about my uh, 458 project. My supervisor is Professor Father, and my research topic is some field generating by building distributed sensors. So there are five sections in my presentation. First, I will give a quick introduction, and next, we will review of the mathematical foundation of the methodology. And next, there are two important topics in this area. One is called simple curve uh, wave field synthesis. And another is called actual curve wave field synthesis. I will give a deep investigation in section three and four, and last, make a conclusion. So first, what is the sound field generation or sound field synthesis? Sound field generation actually is trying to synthesize a number of speakers and to control their sound signal to make a sound field inside the listening area and let audience perceive their sound field from a given what is sound source location. Take an example of the pressure map created by the sound field generation. If you locate inside this circle, you may perceive that there, there is a sound coming from the uh, red point P. So our project ultimate goal is try to arrange a number of speakers by, by feeding a process signal and to create a sound field with some interesting characteristics and some desired functionality over a specified region and a frequency domain. So how can we achieve this? We use the approach called wave field synthesis. Wave field synthesis actually is derived from a, a, a pure of time positive degree equation. So this equation shows that pressure value inside boundary S can be expressed as the integral of two different items. These two different atoms, atoms can actually interpret as two different types of sound sources. The left atom actually is a multiple source and the right atom is actually a type of source. And in reality, the multiple source actually is, has the characteristics of our normal species. But the type of source actually can, cannot be implemented in, our, uh, in reality. So we apply another technique called the simple source formation of wavefront studies by applying the human condition and other techniques. We have the secondary items to be eliminated. So we only get the multiple source. So in this formula, the function G actually is a wave equation of sound, like the green function, and the other atom can be merged into Y function or D function. D function actually is the driving signal function, which is the driving signal we need to fail with each form. Uh, first, we specify the speaker's location and design the sound field we want to achieve. And next, we compute the driving signal for each speaker and then visualize the sound field. And how we evaluate our sound field? We have two um, different merit. For example, we have the absolute error map, <coughs> merit error between the sound field generated and the original sound field. And another uh, important metric is called similarity. Similarity actually is the latent coefficient uh, between the general sound field and the sound field um, generated by the water sound source. That is, if the general sound field has a, uh, the perfect linear relationship with the uh, original sound, sound field, actually the similarity is 100 So here is a direct robotics test. For example, we move the water source around the uh, speaker area and we move the water source from left to the right of the speaker area to check if it can perform a good quality of sound from all directions. And you can see the results are quite uh, satisfactory and very stable uh, performance. And there are some uh, some job for the liner area because of maybe because of construction effect. And also, we conduct a robotic test for the distance. And you can see we move the water source near the speaker to the locations maybe 10 meters far away from the speaker areas. In summary, the single curve wave field success actually can get very good uh, sound field quality <coughs> and, and create a water source accuracy, I think. So after the single curve wave field success, we move to the upper curve wave field success. As compared to the single curve wave field success, after the curve wave field success, and the randomly distribute of the sound speakers. Although we have the same formula for the average curve wave field uh, synthesis, actually uh, it can cause some problem. For example, there is the parameter for theta. The theta is related to the normal vector of the boundary. 
But you know, for a, a given finite speaker point, the curve passing through this speaker actually has infinite height. So actually, the angle signal is undefined. So we propose a curve fitting algorithm to fit these speakers by some curves to compute the normal vector to make the experiment even computation feasible. So there's some straightforward way. For example, we can make some kind of light connection to connect the speaker with the line and do some bisecting one and the long vector. Or some simple focus method, which we use the vector point to the center of the speaker iris and the normal vector. But this method does not, not sound like so scientific. So is there any way we can use some natural line to fit the speaker to generate the curve for that? Uh, there are some examples of the without a guide for the for different curve algorithm. And let's have a photo look you can see. Actually, the data connector algorithm doesn't have some good performance. But the other two uh, give us some acceptable results. However, although we have a curve algorithm for every curve, we now have some good outcomes as good as the simple curve we can test. So we propose another, um, here is some similarity uh, plot for the same scenario. So we also we try, uh, try to test a different type of the uh, speaker, speaker area, like the triangle area or some cleave area or other complex. You can see from this part that this plan always gives us a very small area for all scenarios, like more than 10 percent showing the move. The example of using the traffic control technique. Here is uh, 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 some bad scenario that we choose. You can see by using the deep line, we only get the 83.9 scenario for this one And after we edit with the hyper control techniques, you can see the, the sound field could uh, improve largely. The overall can be kept at 93.7. And you can see the counter of the sound field in crowd field generation techniques by using new field synthesis approach. And we have like, a uh, all comprehensive evaluation for the single curve computer analysis, and also we propose some approach to make the upper curve user set available and to evaluate the sound field performance. And also, some other part have been done in this project, like the spatial aliasing effects and the professional software for some viewer in Java development uh, in this project. Due to time, time limits, it will be present to the features 
another effective in reflecting the contents of the videos. But they, these, uh, these information are displayed in the audio tracks directly. So we could, with clear aims, we could look for the implementation of the system. Remember the system structure pre mentioned previously. The first step, auto track acquisition, is a easy step as there are many, uh, many existing applications could take this job. First, the key pass is feature extraction. The first feature using this project is zero pass rate. It is defined as the number of times that a single Apple II changes size in the auto sample. And secondly, short time energy. It calculates the total spectrum power of the audio signal. The third is subband energy ratio. The signal frequency spectrum ground could be divided into eight subband, which are this which are uniform the distributing the frequency domain. So this feature is ratio between each subband energy and the energy of the whole signal. Next is non aggregate conceptual coefficients. MFCC can represent the auditory characteristic of the human ears. It, um, it is the audio signals are moved from time domain to frequency domain by faster power transform. And triangular bandpass filters could take the log mile energy. And the discrete cosine transform makes it uh, uh, well calculate the MFCC. The data features here is just to calculate the differences between the frames based on the MFCC. Next is log filters. They are widely used in image recognition, and the outputs of these filters are spectrogram of the sun. Here, demonstrate the spectrogram of three kind of sun. The spectrogram of this sun is uh, is stationary, while that of the chair has proto has protoprocess. And two peaks could be found in the spectrum of speech sound, which uh, which indicates the uh, voice the segments in the speech file. The, this make it more um, more obvious from other two kinds of events. And block filters are implemented by uh, convolve the image file with the, a set of filters with transfer functions in different radiation direction and different angle direction. The best accuracy reached in this project is seventy point seven three percent for uh, with the uh, features listed in the first table. And the accuracy for different events is 88.89% uh, for whistle, and 72.73% for cheers, and 66.67% for speech. Thus, the whistle sound has the best accuracy because it is quite different from other two kinds of events. And um, one factor one reason to this non-perfect accuracy is due to the database used in this program is, uh, is small. It, it, is, it is smaller than the other professional researchers. And another, another factor contributes to the result is the, in the sports game videos, there are high, there, there always have a high level of noise because the, due to the um, exciting audience. So this will influence the detection of the events. So the conclusion part is that the selected features can represent the characteristics of the different events. And the differences between different audio events can be used for classification. Audio events also could be used as cues to classify the genre of the videos. And the last is the semantic meaning of the song can be derived by utilizing the classification results. The future work of this project first is to enlarge the database to get better performance of the classifier and also look for features that are more robust against the noise. My supervisor partner is Dr. Lan Fong. Today I will first mark Jack detection of a mark test challenge for assistive navigation of blind people. Uh, firstly, let me introduce the agenda of today's presentation. Uh, there are five parts of today's presentation. Introduction, 
WHO estimates that there are 285 million people suffering from visual impairment and uh, 39 million people are blind. So it's necessary to uh, develop outdoor assistive navigation to blind people. In this project, what we want to do is to develop an automatic system for detecting unmarked pedestrian lens. Um, that the, the main technique employed by this project is image segmentation. Uh, we use two image segmentation methods to detect unmarked pedestrian lens. Here uh, are some examples of input image. Uh, literature view. Uh, so firstly, what's the image segmentation? Uh, it's a process of dividing a digital image into its constituent regions or objects. The aim is to simplify and change the representation of an image into something that is more meaningful and useful. Here we want to divide an image into the and no name region. The pixels in the same segmented regions have some similar properties such as color, intensity, or texture. Here are some examples of image segmentation. Uh, there are three types of lens detection approach that uh, have been applied to uh, vehicle navigation. And the first one, color-based approach, make use of different color space to exchange lens features. Uh, and color and the illumination are two key elements for this type of approach. Texture-based approach exchange image texture features instead of uh, color features. The main steps are texture feature uh, extraction and uh, feature casting. The age-based approach mainly use intensity information and the layer focus on detecting boundary of the object uh, method. The first method we use here is uh, genetic algorithm uh, segmentation is basically a holding based approach. Uh, it employs group search strategies looks for optimal holding results. It simulates the procedure of natural uh, natural evolution and uh, follows the principle of the survival of the fittest. Uh, here is the procedural diagram of the gene genetic algorithm. Uh, step one. The initial population is generated uh, randomly. The crossings is the basic element of the population, which consists of a set of genes encoded in uh, binary format. And then the, uh, each, uh, the thickness degree of each crossing uh, is computed. The thickness is the evaluation criteria for population selection. And it, it indicates the crossness between one crossings and uh, optimal solution. Uh, the second method we use is fuzzy segment segmentation. Uh, it's a cluster based approach employs a soft casting strategy to classify pixels. Uh, it classifies pixels according to their properties. Uh, pixels have similar property are grouped into the uh, same cluster. Here's the procedural diagram of fuzzy segment segmentation. The experiment result. Uh, here's the experiment procedural diagram. Uh, besides genetic algorithm segmentation and fuzzy segment segmentation, we also uh, we also implement, uh, implemented uh, region-based, texture-based, and age-based age uh, segmentation uh, as comparison. And here is the genetic algorithm segmentation result. Uh, we can find that this method can segment clear with uh, outline of the land regions. However, in the first pattern, the sky region is also recognized as the land regions uh, because of the similar high intensity on both the sky region and the land regions. The fuzzy segment segmentation can also get uh, a out, uh, clear outline of the land region, and even the layer marker and the complicated shadows uh, cannot affect the segmentation result. The region, uh, the region-based segmentation method is easily uh, affected by the shadows and the dark uh, illumination conditions. Uh, the texture-based segmentation, uh, this method is 
hard to get a stable result. Uh, you can see in the pattern to the known land regions is also treated as the um, land region without um, without the uh, complicated shadows of dark illumination reasons. Uh, the age-based segmentation is hard to get clear uh, clear outline of the land region, and uh, this method is sensitive to the um, complicated background. We also conduct numerical evaluation to this five method, and uh, we record the average ever uh, error rate and average processing time of them, and we can find that genetic organism segmentation and body semen segmentation has a low error rate, and uh, for the processing time GA segmentation, uh, genetic organism segmentation uh, have uh, takes low processing time, uh, while body semen segmentation takes most uh, takes most processing time. Uh, although uh, genetic operation, uh, operation segmentation shows good segmentation results, except for excessive luminance and complicated shadow background. Handle this problem. There are optical, mechanical, and physical problems. However, due to the high price and the large value of the optical and the mechanical method, it's not suitable for our household crime coder. And uh, we implement uh, video stylization algorithm to stabilize video sequence, and uh, that is uh, digital method. This slide gives a simple explanation about what we have done our goal of this session. We implement feature matching algorithm on MATLAB to process a stable image sequence and output a stable image sequence. From the user suspect, suspected, the global, the global motion can be divided into subjective motion and uh, objective motion. The subjective motion is with smoothness. That is mean the movement will keep in the same direction for a short period. But to the object motion, it is also known as the jitter. It means it is with high frequency and it will change the directions from time to time. And uh, what we do, we must receive this, this subject motion and detect this object motion and uh, eliminate this kind of motion. Here is the basic step of video stylization. We can see the basic step of video stylization is the motion estimation, which is using and the motion composition. The motion estimation is to determine the global parameters. So after this step, we will obtain the global motion parameters. However, from the last slide, we know the global motion parameters including not only the smooth motion, but also jitter. So, but uh, the, oh, sorry. But the next step composition is mainly refers to eliminate the jitter parameters, and so we must filter the global motion parameters in order to reserve the smooth motion and output the jitter parameters. First step is feature point detection. The car the currently feature can be summarized the core endpoint, corner street edge, and cold edge, and the corner is the most important feature. Uh, the, the company result is mainly dependent on the selection of corner, and uh, in our project, the corner is the chosen feature. Once we detect the corner in the images, now, then we extract the feature points from current frame and the reference frame. For the next step, motion composition, we match the feature points we extract from the adjusted frame and repeat the same process to the following sequence. In order to eliminate the bad influence of all kinds of disturbance, we must test the effectiveness of the matching results. If the, if the matching results, if the effect, effectiveness of matching results is less than the threshold, we must choose the current frame as the next reference frame. And uh, once we get the effective matching result, we can move to the next, the last part, the motion parameters calculation. Calculate the practical motion parameters by the effective matching results. Here shows the motion composition. The figure on the left is a schematic figure, and on the right is an actual example. The black star is there, and they are reference uh, extract the feature from reference frame and the current frame. 
uh, in, the, in the actual example, the frame one, this frame is the reference frame, and this is the current frame. Now we overlap these two frames as shown in there, and uh, this, this distance from this black star to that black star is jet parameters. And uh, in the next step, we must complete and limit this jet parameters in order to make uh, the reference frame coincide well with the current frame. And uh, we can also tell from the combination of the overlap of the actual example and uh, the combination of the example. From the overlap, we can see the, there is a video video blur exists, and this is jet parameters. And in the next slide, we can see the blur is eliminated, and uh, this is the complete result. Now we come to the result analysis part. This is at least the hardware and, the soft and software I used for this session. Uh, the iPhone is mainly used for capture test video, and uh, our algorithm is implemented on MATLAB software. To calculate motion parameters, there are two approaches. First is a fixed reference frame, directly estimating the global motion parameters by referring to a fixed frame. From this figure, we can see the following frames uh, is all reference to the first frame. Another approach is, is the neighborhood reference frame, estimating by referring to the neighborhood frame. For the first approach, it has the no accu accumulated error and uh, it has a uh, high accuracy. Uh, and it has an advantage in stabilizing the fixed position capture video. However, if the motion, camera motion is beyond the range of the calculated grid value, and the global motion parameters will be unreliable, hence they will give a very complex subsequent process. The second approach, neighborhood wing reference frame, although it has accumulative error, and uh, it will have a bad influence on the accurate, but the, the matching is always happening at the adjacent frame. And the, the, the sharp, sharp difference of, of, of the distance the force to the ones will be distributed into each other adjacent frame. And uh, we, we will announce the second approach in our project. This slide is the fixed reference.